The blockbuster revelation involves the FBI agent at the, the center of this. And um, did you find it shocking? What was your response when you saw that the guy who was really the, the central piece of this was perhaps corrupt himself using federal funds improperly? Yeah, that, that's the accusation against, as you say, the lead agent, that in the course of this investigation, there were funds set aside to pay players and coaches. And the allegation is that the FBI agent misappropriated these funds. That, that to me, was an absolutely stunning revelation. Now, you know, in this piece, also, you kind of mentioned that the FBI agents were planted here, as is often the case, but they weren't just kind of there. They kind of gave Christian Dawkins a nudge a little bit. Does that change how people or how you feel about this case? I think it's interesting because we, I mean, we were watching the FBI's original press conference yesterday, and they are claiming to have found this bombshell that is going to kind of expose this dark underbelly without college basketball. And, you know, we come to find out that this is a probe that started almost three years ago with a cooperating witness that ultimately led them to Christian Dawkins and these college basketball coaches who allegedly participated. But in the meantime, the money kind of started in point A and got to point B rather than, than, the, uh, than the reverse. Yeah, I mean, my, my two big reactions, obviously, the, the revelation was one, but it's also, all right, this isn't something you stumbled upon. This isn't something you were like, here are crimes being committed. It was basically, go commit some crimes, encouraging him to, to bribe coaches. So I almost felt bad for Christian Dawkins here. I assume there was corruption going on in NCAA basketball, but if the FBI agent in, in, involved himself was corrupt, and they're, they're pushing him along, uh, it kind of blows the whole story up to me. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the big sort of 35,000-foot view of this, which is, you know, there, there's a lot that goes on. A lot of these wiretaps you probably would not condone, but this is a multi-year, multi-agency, multi-state investigation, and at the end of the day, there's some corruption in college basketball, and the families of highly touted recruits get some cash, and there's some assistant coaches that might be on the take. Again, no one is condoning this, but I, I don't think that's necessarily uh, the, the bombshell that the government had in mind. And there's, you know, there's lots of levels to this case. Obviously, you know, Rick Pitino was fired after allegations with Louisville. NCAA stars were implicated. Um, a few of them were suspended for the tournament. Um, Andy Miller, Dawkins' former employee, renounced his NBA agenting certification, but he has not yet been charged. Is this just the beginning of this saga? I think so, especially because when you talk to people involved with it and around the case, everyone kind of alludes to a few more charges potentially bubbling up to the surface. But also, you know, as the documents first leaked in the fall on you know, other outlets on the websites, people were claiming this was going to affect dozens and dozens of programs. And we've only really seen six or seven be implicated at this point. And now that we're starting to uh, see that these flaws in their FBI's investigation come to light, I'd imagine they try to pivot a little bit and try to ultimately unearth some other things that they found. Yeah, you have to think there, there's more to come. Adidas has been the shoe brand that's been implicated here. That is not the only shoe brand in, in youth basketball. Absolutely. There have been a number of college programs, as Jake says, but certainly not everyone. But again, I, I think you sort of take a step back, and especially with this, with this knowledge that we've come across, that the lead investigator it's alleged to have been corrupted. I, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see where this goes, but I'm not sure this is what the government had in mind when they greenlit this and devoted all these funds and resources a few years ago. I mean, does it go back to a central point a lot of people have? It's almost like a corruption treak, right? You're, you're looking for the, the corruption in college basketball. You find this FBI agent is corrupt, and then people are still going to go, but what about the NCAA yeah. making all this money oh, off of kids who aren't <laughs> paid? And I feel like that's still going to well, wind the, up being everybody's The tickle. other irony here is that what, what did they get arrested for? Not for NCAA violations, but for fraud charges. Well, you need right. someone to be defrauded in order to prove fraud. Who has been defrauded here? And the government's allegation is <laughs> the schools. So the NCAA institutions, which you could make a case of central players here, are the defrauded parties, which is an interesting legal theory. And it's, it's an especially bizarre charge being that a lot of the athletic programs that these schools obviously own and oversee are complicit in these charges. So how can the University of Louisville, for example, be a victim by the Louisville basketball program? It's, 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 re it's really a confounding uh, theory. A little bit of a cyclical situation <laughs> we're in here, right? I mean, is there really a way to fix this? It's a question everyone's been asking. As deep as you guys have dove into this, is there, is there a solution you see? Well, I mean, the, the economic model is at the heart of this. The fact that you have 
this distorted economic money. This is a black market here, right? And we see this, I don't, I don't know what people, people are rational actors, and when money is being made and there's unpaid labor, it stands to reason the labor will seek to be paid. I think you just need to change the economic model because what's being asked of these student athletes now, basically everyone's making money, the coffers are sloshing through with, uh, with capital and you're getting nothing. Um, it's sort of you're begging for corruption. Yeah, I think a lot of people would rather have the, the resources go into fixing it rather than investigating it. Especially because the, the crux of this financial component is that you have these um, apparel companies like Adidas looking to invest a blanket sum over an entire athletic program ultimately to influence those athletes to later sign with them as an endorser moving on, which this is kind of exposed. You can skip all that middleman process and eliminate all these dirty hands that can pick a piece of that pie in that process by simply just going straight to the athletes.